Hello everyone and welcome back to our recipe videos. This is a recipe for pea and mint ravioli. It's really delicious and good for any occasions. If you haven't already, make sure you check out our fresh pasta recipe before you continue with this, unless you are lucky enough to find vegan pasta sheets in your local supermarket. For this recipe you will need a bunch of mint, one onion, a clove of garlic, a swig of oil, seasoning, could be anything you like, salt, pepper, basil and a cup of peas. Firstly you want to chop up your garlic and onion, so the garlic you just want to cut it up into small pieces, like so. Next, your onion, slice it quite thinly, not that it matters because it's all going to go into a blender, so it doesn't have to be too specific. Now put your olive oil in your pan and heat it up. Then add your garlic and then your onion to the pan. And let that cook down for a few minutes on a medium heat. Let that sizzle away. And once you've cooked down your onion and garlic, will then need to add your peas. You will then want to add some boiling water, just enough to cover the area of your peas. Then add in your mint. Then you add your seasoning, salt, peppers, whatever takes your fancy. Once it's all cooked down, then you want to leave it to cool down. Now that your fried mixture is cooled down, you want to get your blender out and put your peas and onion and garlic into your blender and the water that you have left over as well. That can all go in. Just very carefully give it a quick blast with the blender. ready. So from the previous recipe you want to start off by rolling out your pasta that's been left. And once it's sort of an oblong shape so if you want to fold it up then do so. And always make sure your surface is floured well because it really does stick. Once you have the right shape, then you can start to add your pea mixture, like so. I'm using about a teaspoon for each piece of pasta. So before you fold the pasta, make sure you get some water and wet all the edges. Fold it over like so. Then you need to press the pasta down and making sure there's no air bubbles left in there, so very carefully. Once it's nice and sealed, then you want to use a pizza cutter or anything you have that will work and roughly cut the edges so that you have a nice finish.
follow that process for the next parcels you make and then once you have finished using all your filling then you want to boil a pan of water I've got a small saucepan so I'm only putting about three in at a time so they don't stick and carefully adding them to the water as well Once you've done this for all of your pasta, then you can serve it out and enjoy it. I like mint, so I put on mint sauce. If you'd like more pasta recipes, then please give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments. check out our previous recipes and enjoy guys <laughs>